watch our website or listen to our radio. We're going to be across it. Now let's move on because our next guest is considered one of the world's most influential tech thinkers. He's an outspoken advocate of open source software, which means that all operating systems should be free to everyone. Yes, by any measure, Mark Shuttleworth has had an extraordinary career. He's a proud South African and made his first serious way into entrepreneurship as a student in Cape Town in 1996, in his garage no less, when he founded an internet security firm. That proved such a success that it was bought by US tech giant at Verizon. That proceeds uh, the, the proceeds, should I say, was what enabled him to set up Ubuntu operating system. But his ambitions reach further than tech. He's the first African in space after joining the International Space Station in 2002. Well, Mark Shuttleworth is with us now. Morning, Mark. Morning. Welcome to the programme. Let's start with the space element, um, because actually that came before Ubuntu, didn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. You were 27 years old. I mean, incredible. Going to the International Space Station. Tell us all about it. Uh, well, I've, I've, I've always been fascinated by our exploration, exploration of all kinds. Uh, and the universe out there really represents extraordinary opportunity and in many senses the future for all of us. Uh, so I had a sense that the space programs both in the US and Russia were opening up. And I, I had the great privilege of spending almost a year in Russia, living in Russia, uh, surrounded by space professionals from all over the world, uh, training with them and then flying to the International Space Station. And that, you paid for it by selling that first tech company that you founded in your garage all those I, years ago. Yeah, I was in the incredibly privileged position that I really could sort of find something to, I had freedom to choose what I wanted to do. And so that was a nice way to, 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 to make a break from what I'd done before and create space to think about the future. So you did that for a year, you went to space, you're on the International Space Station and it was there that you really Formalize your thinking about what you do next? Well, I think everybody who has that experience, who goes uh, sort of away from Earth and looks back at it, uh, has the realization that uh, the, the world is small and fragile. And, and you, after that, you very much, or well, I, I observe many astronauts, want to be part of things that have a global impact. And being a lover of technology and entrepreneurship, uh, since open source had been so central to my ability to create something global from, from the tip of Africa, I wanted to enable other people all over the world to, to build interesting things. Uh, so I, I created Ubuntu as a way of making open source easy to consume for both businesses and scientists and researchers. So just explain how Ubuntu works and also how you, it, it, as a South African, outside of the sort of closed club of Silicon Valley, have managed to actually provide for many big names in Silicon Valley this service, as it were. Well, most people are familiar with Windows in, on the PC, and Ubuntu is like Windows, but it's used in, in a, a wide range of other um, environments, like the cloud. Most of the cloud runs on Ubuntu, and intelligent devices, smart uh, self-driving cars, uh, smart meters, uh, home routers. So um, the, the magic of Ubuntu is that it doesn't come from one organization. It represents innovation from thousands of different companies and individuals. And our job is to pull all of that together and make it easy to consume. So it's become a platform for... But you're for... making it easy to consume yeah. and, it's, and it's free, which means yeah. uh, you're providing to something, you know, something to everyone for free that other yeah. people want to charge for. I presume you made some enemies. Uh, along the way, yes. We've certainly changed people's expectations about how they should engage with uh, infrastructure. At scale. How yeah. did you come up with the name? Um, well, Ubuntu is an African word, not just South African, and it really is a, a sort of special representation of, of what happens when people treat each other really well. And I think that, that reflects the heart of open source very, very elegantly. We've yes. come, got Go a few on. tweets that have come into the programme. Yeah. Yeah. Digsby says, if I were in space, I, I would help as much as I can with their cancer-beating experiments. Astronauts are unsung heroes and people aren't always aware of their efforts. Do you have the same view? I mean, what was it like in space? And did you conduct any experiments? Uh, yes, so I took four experiments to space. Uh, we took the first stem cells to space. Stem cells were controversial at the time under the Bush administration, and we just took them to space to see what would happen. And we found, actually, that they developed in a, in a way that was much uh, better for medical treatments. So that, that, that inspired a bunch of research. And we had some other experiments, not all of them successful. I was a, I was a happy guinea pig for a bunch of Russian And why is space such a good <laughs> happy environment? Happy guinea pig for a bunch of <laughs> Russians. You're a brave man. That's all I can say. <laughs> why is it such a good environment to, to, to carry out those experiments? Well, it's different. And so it, it, uh, you know, it challenges um, uh, uh, your understanding.